on that year, he also had lost another person. A person who was an ultimate source of comfort and support to him. That was Khadija radiallahu anha. The one whom Jibreel alayhi salam came down once to give her a greeting from Allah Azza wa Jal, Aqrit Khadija minni salam, and inform her that she will be living in a palace in Al Jannah, la sahabun fihi wa la nasab. A palace in Al Jannah where she will be living in the comfort and will be enjoying her life in Al Jannah. Khadija radiallahu anha set up an example to every woman how she should be standing for her husband in the difficulties of this life. As the Prophet وسلم, came on the first day of Birtha, overwhelmed and shivering and saying to people around him, Zammiluni, Zammiluni, cover me, cover me. Uh, and Khadija radiallahu anha did not only cover him with a blanket to give him some warmth, but rather she covered him with her love and support and emotional support and give him the words of encouragement that have made the Prophet Sallallahu feel the ease. And she said, Wallahi la Allah. By Allah, Allah will not let you down. And she counted for him so many good things that he has been doing in his life. SubhanAllah. She knew that the Prophet Sallallahu life is full of good, of good actions. He's recognized to be the person who cares about his neighbors, who cares about his rahim, who looks after the poor, who looks after the orphans. And she said, as a result of your good deeds, as a result of your uh, uh, record of, of good actions, Allah will not let you down. Not only that, she was an old woman of knowledge, she took the Prophet ﷺ to her own cousin Warakat ibn Nawfal and informed him about what the Prophet ﷺ experienced because she knew in advance that the Prophet ﷺ is exhibiting the, the, the characteristics of the Prophets of Allah ﷺ. She knew in advance as a woman of knowledge, as her connection with her cousin Warakat ibn Nawfal, that it is the time for a prophet to be sent into mankind to elevate the suffering of people, to provide the nur of hidayah to the darkness of jahiliyyah that the people were living in, whether it is in Mecca or somewhere else in the world at that time. And then Warakat ibn Nawfal said something to the Prophet I wish, Ya Rasulullah, that I will be there for you. Ya laytani fiha jad'an. I wish that I will be strong enough. He was at an old age when the Prophet informed him about this. And he died shortly after that as a muhid believing in the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. He said to him, I wish I will be there for you when your own people will force you out of Mecca. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam's response was, Awa muhriji are they going to force me out? What for? I am the grandchild of Abdul Muttalib, the chief of Mecca. I am the nephew of Abu Talib, the second chief of Mecca. I am known to be a sadiq al amin the most the trustworthy, the, the, uh, the, 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 the most honorable, the, 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 the one who speaks the truth and who's the one who's honest. Why would they force me out of Mecca? The Prophet, the, when he told him, Whatever you are coming with will be what the prophets of Allah Azza have come with. And the sunnah of Allah Azza wa Jal is that whoever carry the banner of the deen of Allah will be faced with resistance, will be faced with challenges. This should bring comfort to our hearts. This should bring the hope into the hearts of the Muslim Ummah across the board. As we remember the incident of Al-Isra and Al-Mi'raj, we should be remembering. This should be a comfort and consoling to the people of Afghanistan. This should be, should be a comfort and a console to the people of uh, our Muslims of China. This should be comfort to the Muslims in India, the Muslims in Yemen, the Muslims in Iraq. And unfortunately, to the Muslims.
Muslims who are living under occupation in the land of al Masjid al Aqsa. This should not be a message, this should be a message of hope to them that whatever you are experiencing and encountering of difficulties in your life is nothing but the Sunnah of Allah in this universe. The Prophet وسلم, when he invited the people of Quraysh was faced with resistance, was faced with Islamophobia, was faced with different aggression. And then when this aggression peaked to the to the to the most to the ultimate power, he left from Mecca to a Ta'if hoping to be able to get support. And unfortunately the people of a Ta'if filled him down. And he fled from a Ta'if while he was bleeding and he sat in the garden in the darkness of the night when he was praying to Allah Azza wa Jal when he was praying to Allah Azza wa Jal and uploading his pain both physically and emotionally the group of jinn who was roaming the earth who figured that something is wrong in the earth they heard the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam reciting the Quran and they embraced Islam, Allahu Akbar. To tell the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that Ya Rasulullah, if the people of the earth are giving you hard time, the jinn are welcoming you and accepting your message. He uploaded his pain to Allah Azza wa Jal in a very emotional dua in which he said, Ya Arham Rahim, Allahumma ilayka ashku bahfi. Ya Allah, to you, to you, Ya Rabbi, I am uploading my weakness. I'm not complaining to humans around me. Ya Rabbi, I know that humans are powerless, helpless, regardless of how much influence they might have in their life. Ya Rabbi, I am turning to you. Allahumma ilayka, you, Ya Rabbi, ashku, complain, upload my pain, wa qillat and the lack of power that I have. <laughs> and the humiliation of people to me. Ya Arham Rahimeen. He addressed Allah as Jal as Ya Arham Rahimeen. Anta Rabbul Mustawahmeen. You are the Lord of the weak. Anta Rabbi. You are my Lord. Anta Rabbi because Ya Rabbi, I have no one else to turn to. You are the Lord and the supporters of those who are weak, Mustawahmeen. Those who are in presence in different parts of the Muslim Ummah. Those who are in the presence of the occupiers in the land of Palestine. We say to them, make your pain loaded to Allah Azza wa and say, Anta Rabbi. Ya Rabb al-Mustadafeen, Anta Rabbi. Ila man takiluni, Ya Rabb. To whom are you leaving me, Ya Allah? Ila ba'idin yatajahamni. To someone who is showing aggression to me, am ila qaribin man laktahu amri. This is the condition. Of, this is the condition of the Muslims and the Muslim Ummah right now. Enemies from outside are subjugated unto them, and unfortunately, enemies from within are causing more pain and harm to them. Enemies who are occupying the land of Al Masjid Al Aqsa, and enemies who are deployed by the occupiers to hurt those who are standing to call the people to believe in Allah Azza wa Jal. إِلَى مَنْ تَكِلُنِي إِلَى بَعِيدٍ يَتَجَهَّمُنِي أَمْ إِلَى عَدُوٍ مَنْ لَكْتَهُ أَمْرِي Someone who is close to me, Ya Rabbi, who controls my affairs from my own people, those who speak my language, those who share my culture, those who are sharing with me the same country I'm living in. They are being used by the occupiers, by the enemies of the deen, to subjugate aggression against me, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ya Rabbi, if this is part of your sunnah, of the dua to the deen of Allah Azza wa Ya Rabbi, I am happy. I do not care, Ya Rabbil Alameen, if you're not angry with me. Walakinna afiyataka hiya awu sa'di. Ya Rabbi, you're happy. Your rahmah, Ya Rabb, is more comforting and more, more fitting for me, Ya Rabb al-Alameen. A'udhu bi nuri wajhika alladhi ashraqat bihi al-dhulumat wa saluha alayhi umru al-dunya wal-akhirah. Allahu Akbar. Oh, ya Rabb, 
Yarabi, despite of the difficulties I'm living in. Yarabi, despite of the challenges I am encountering in my life. Whether on a personal level, Ya Rabbi Alameen. Whether it was on a community level, Ya Rabbi Alameen. Whether as an Ummah, Ya Arham Ar Rahimeen. Ya Rabbi. Ya Rabbi, I seek refuge by the brightness of your face. The brightness that has provided brightness. The Lord that has provided brightness to the skies and the earth. And have fixed the affairs of the dunya and the akhirah. A'udhu bi nuri wajhika alladhi ashraqa fihi al-qurumat. Wa salha alayhi umur dunya wal akhirah. Min an tunzila li gharabak. Aw yahulla alayya sakhabak. Ya Rabbi. I seek refuge by your, the brightness of your face, the glow of your face, Ya Rabbi, to be from those whom you are angry with, Ya Rabbi. Ya Rabbi, all I need from you is to show me, is to inspire me. This is what Allah has said to Musa alayhi salam. And he said to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam, If you are on the path of Haq, you will be tested. If you are on the path of Haq, those around you will show you the ugly face. And if you were to be with Allah, Allah will yuriyaka min ayati in al-kubra. Allah will be yuriyahu min ayatina. Will show you the signs that will bring the comfort to your heart as you're standing between the hands of the Allah Azza wa Jal. In the last third of the night, in the darkness of your own home, when no one else see you and no one else hear you but the mighty Allah Azza wa Jal and saying to you هل من مستغفر فأغفر هل من داع فأجيب وذلك كل ليلة That's what your Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did. He uploaded his pain to Allah Azza wa Jal when he was alone coming back from a fire going back to Mecca knowing that Mecca's door will not be wide open for him. Knowing that the people of Quraysh would not be welcoming him and he had to go under the protection of Al Ali ibn Mubrahim, one of the kuffar of Quraysh. In that particular moment, in that dark moment, when the pain was so much in the heart of the Prophet, this message of, 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 of help was sent to the sky and all the people of the sky, the Malaika were alert and Jibreel came down to him to the Prophet وسلم, saying to him, Ya Jibreel, Ya Muhammad, Ya Muhammad, the angel of mountain is with me. He's at your command, Allahu Akbar. Shortly after that, Jibreel came to him to show him the real signs of Allah Azza wa Jal in the journey from Al-Masjid Al-Haram to Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa to tell him that Ya Muhammad you will be honored on the earth by the prophets of Allah Azza wa Jal and then you will be honored by the people of the sky afterwards when you go to the sky when he arrived when he arrived to Jerusalem to Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa he prayed and the prophets of Allah prayed behind him to give an indication that you are and your deen and your followers are the followers of the final deen of Allah Azza wa And to give a strong message to those who are out of their weakness, those who are uh, as a result of the weakness of their, of their nafs and their deen right now are saying, we are giving up on a masjid al-Aqsa. We're giving up for the sake of living in peace. We're giving up for the sake of, of, of economical purposes and political reasons. We say to them, keep your own opinions for yourselves. We, the followers of the deen of Allah Azzawajal, believe إِذَا جَاءَ وَعْدُ الْآخِرَةِ when the time for the second trial comes, when the end of the time for the second trial comes, one of the beautiful tafasir 
is not liyasu'u wujuh, the occupiers, but liyasu'u wujuh, the collaborators of, with the occupiers. يَقُولُونَ نَخْشَى أَنْ تُصِيبَنَا دَائِرَةً فَعَسَى اللَّهُ أَنْ يَأْتِيَ بِالْفَتْحِ أَوْ أَمْرٍ مِنْ عِنْدِهِ Soon, not too far, you will hear the news. You will see the miracles, the signs of Allah Azza wa Jal in aiding and supporting those كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَأَغْلِبَنَّ أَنَا وَرُسُلِكَ كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَأَغْلِبَنَّ أَنَا وَرُسُلِكَ Regardless of how weak you might be in this dunya, when the Prophet ﷺ was going up to the sky, he smelled a beautiful smell. He smelled the musk. And he said, Ya Jibreel, where is this smell coming from? And Jibreel said to him, Ya Muhammad ﷺ, this is the musk perfume of Mashibab's Ibn Fir'aun. The one who used to look after the daughter of Fir'aun who said, Bismillah, and when, her, when the daughter of Fir'aun said, are you referring to my father? She said, no, to Allah, my Lord, and the Lord of your father. And as a result of that, Fir'aun, la'natullahi alayhi, killed her with her own children brutally. And her own infant spoke and said to his mother, Ya Ummah, if kuti ala al-haq, be steadfast on the right path. The Prophet, smelled her perfume. Why herself only? Not so many shuhada throughout the history of mankind who are supporting their own prophets. Allah wants to send a message to you. Wants to send a message to those who are in prisons in different parts of the Muslim Ummah. Wants to send a message to the orphans and to the widows and to those who are weak in the means and power of the weapons who are standing against the aggressions of the occupiers and say to them, it's not about physical empowerment, it's about Iman enrichment. This woman was recognized and her perfume was smelled by the Prophet and you will be the same if you were to stand up for the name of Allah وأقول قول هذا واستغفر الله ولكم فاستغفروه فيفوز المستغفرين الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا وسيئات اعمالنا من يهد الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا رشيدا ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلم سليمة. اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا ابراهيم وعلى ال سيدنا ابراهيم وبارك اللهم على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا محمد وبارك على سيدنا ابراهيم في العالمين انك حميد مجيد اللهم انا عبيدك ابناء وعبيدك ابناء ولائك نواصينا يا رب بيدك ماض يا رب فينا حكمك عدل فينا قضاءك نسالك الله بكل اسم ولك سميت به نفسك انزلته في كتابك او علمته احدا من خلقك او استاثرت به في علم الغيب عندك بان تجعل القران العظيم ربيع يا رب اجعله جناء لهمومنا واحزاننا يا رب حمد الرحيم رب يوزع اشكر نعمتك التي انعمت علي وعلى والدي وان اعمل صالحا ترضاه يا رب واصلح لي في ذريتي اني تبت اليك وانني من المسلمين اللهم استهدنا ولا تستهدن بنا يا رب العالمين اللهم اكثر واعيننا بالصلاه في المسجد الاقصى يا رحم الرحيم اللهم كن مع المستضعفين في مشارق الارض ومغاربها اللهم نسالك من كرمك وجودك بان تبارك لنا فيما تبقى من رجب وشعبان وتولدنا من رحمتك شهر رمضان وتجعلنا فيه من ارتقائك من النار. اللهم من علينا قبل الموت بتوبه واكرمنا عند الموت بشهاده نرضيك بها عنا تغفر لنا بها ذنوبنا وترحمنا عند الموت وبعد الموت فانك على كل شيء قدير وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين وعلى الصلاه.